Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. And brought to you by Coke Zero Sugar, Coca-Cola with zero sugar and now even more delicious. Carolina Ford, built for the Carolinas, built Ford proud. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Hardison and Cochran, dial 919 all fours for a free legal consultation. Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Carolina Insider. My name is Jones Angel. I'll be taking you through the next 30 minutes of Carolina action and we have a bunch of great stuff to talk about starting of course with Carolina basketball. What a great night on Wednesday evening in the Smith Center. Carolina having its finest performance of the season to date in a 21 point win over Michigan. We'll see some highlights of that victory over the Wolverines and hear some post game reaction from the Tar Heels as well. Earlier in the week, Adam Lucas and I had an opportunity to speak to the ACC Freshman of the Year in the sport of volleyball. That is Carolina's Mabry Shaftmaster. She's from Newcastle, Indiana, had a terrific year for the Tar Heels. Adam and I had a chance to talk to Mabry. I think you will enjoy that coming up in just a bit. Approaching winter break, it's exam season, but there's still some teams competing in Chapel Hill. You'll see some highlights from other Tar Heel sports as well. So we have a busy 30 minutes coming up, but let's start with the Smith Center and it was rocking on Wednesday evening. Carolina and Michigan as part of the ACC Big Ten Challenge. So neither team able to keep the other one off the offensive glass thus far. Left corner three, Davis off the front iron. There's Manic soaring in and putting it home with two hands. Long chest pass right back to Love on the right. He's going to try a long three-pointer and tickle the twine. Michigan leads by just one, though, even though Carolina has struggled as Love knocks away the handoff pass, goes to Baycott. He pitches ahead to Love for the run-out throwdown. The right-handed Tomahawk. Yes, sir. Love around a high screen, drives right in the lane, bounces right corner to Manic. Pass up high to Garcia. Three, count it. 19-16, largest lead for Michigan. Love attacks left of the lane, goes up and under and scoops it in. Fancy move from Love. Inside the zone, the pass goes to Baycott. Out to Black. Extra pass to Davis. Still eight on the shot clock as Love has it now at the center jump circle. Michigan now goes to man-to-man. -man. Love will try a long three. Gracious, it almost touched the top of the Smith Center and then the bottom of the net. Manic coming to the scorer's table for Carolina as Love has it to Garcia. Quick three from the left. Yes, sir. Love diagnosing out to Manic. He'll try and answer the triple, and he does. He said, if we're going to stabilize this at all, down 13, he's got to give up, put him in the game. Oh, Love gets right to the rim and throws it down. Gracious, he started up high, went right of the lane, and threw it home with the right hand. Faced up, didn't take the long two, sent it back out to Love to reset. Love dribbles into the left corner. He'll try the long jumper and swish it home. Attacking against Dickinson, double team Cones has to send it out to Love. Another long triple, holy smokes! 20 for Love. He'll send it left side to Love. Love gets a nice screen from Manic, gets into the paint, leaves it for Baycott, and he sure knows what to do with it. Dumps it to Manic on the right sideline. Whips it right elbow to Black. Extra pass Davis, triple, yes! So the final score will be 72-51. Hubert Davis saying before the game that he really felt like his team had gotten in some good work over the last week and felt like they were going to come out with a strong performance tonight, and they indeed did. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed. Undeniably versatile. Unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's going to be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's going to get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card. Unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter.
This year, let Ford help make your holidays even brighter. Get holiday ready with Ford. Now get a 2021 F-150 with 0% financing for 60 months plus 500 retail bonus cash. Get holiday ready only at your Carolina Ford dealer. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at slash brighter. Wow, this new Coca Cola Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! Okay, I'm gonna try it first. Yes! I need to try it first. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison & Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919-ALL-FOURS. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Welcome back to the show, and you just saw those highlights before the commercial break. What a great evening it was for Carolina basketball on Wednesday. Caleb Love leading the scoring for the Tar Heels. Third time this year that he's put up 22 points. In fact, every game this season, Carolina's had at least one player score 20 points or more. Dawson Garcia added 14 in this game, and Armando Baycott had his fourth double-double of the season, 11 points and a season-high 14 rebounds. After the game, I had an opportunity to sit down with Hubert Davis. Adam Lucas talked with Armando Baycott. Let's hear some of those two conversations now. Uh, Effort-wise, it was a 10 out of 10, and it was that way at practice yesterday. Yesterday, I think we had the best practice that we've had all season. I mean, on the defensive end, everybody was dialed in, competitive, competing. Uh, on the offensive end, everyone was sharing the basketball, and, and, and everybody was enjoying other people's success when they made a shot. And um, they did the same thing here in the game. It was a great, against a great uh, Michigan team uh, with unbelievable talent. And um, – I thought we struggled a little bit offensively getting shots uh, in the first half. In the second half, I just felt like that we needed to get the ball down low on the post. I felt like Armando and Dawson could score down there, and both of them started at the second half, and that really that, that really gave us a lot of energy on both ends of the floor. Michigan shoots 35% for the game, only gets to the free throw line for six shots. I would imagine those are kind of defensive numbers that you like. I do. I do. I've always believed that we can be a great defensive team. At times we have struggled, but it's because of them. It's their commitment and practice. You know, we, we had eight days off and we had a chance to, to get back to our fundamentals and our principles and, and reaffirm what we want to do on the defensive end and, um, all the guys bought into it. They understood it. They applied it out there on the floor, and I'm just really, really proud of them. Caleb Love, he shot well tonight, and I know that always helps, but it seemed like the game was just kind of coming to Caleb a little easier tonight, distributed the ball, played good defense. Your, your thoughts on his performance? Well, you know, I he, he was great tonight. I, I believe he's a definitive first-round draft pick, uh, and the reason being is, you know, from an offensive standpoint, he has the ability to create a shot for himself and for his teammates at any given time. He's that gifted. But I've always believed that he's an outstanding defensive player. He had, you know, the assignment of Garden Brooks. And, I mean, he's their leading scorer. And so he got after it defensively. He distributed the basketball. He was aggressive and made shots on the offensive end. Uh, Caleb was a basketball player. He's a heck of a basketball player. And he played an outstanding game tonight. Last thing, Coach, I'm not going to get every name of Tar Heels who were here tonight, but Tyler Zeller, Tyler Hansbro, Antoine Jamison, Mitch Kupchak, of course, your staff, Eric on the air with us. It felt like a real Carolina family night in the Smith Center. It did. I saw everybody, and I, I joked around with Eric Hoots. I said, 
gosh, as a coach, you know, I, I love the guys that we have in the locker room. But man, I'd, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if, uh, if some of those guys that were in the stands, if Antoine and uh, Tyler Hansbro and Tyler Zeller uh, were coming out of that tunnel in a North Carolina uniform. But that this is what Carolina is about. It's uh, it's about family. It's about relationships. And it doesn't matter when you played. It's it's the shared relationships and experiences that you've had here that, that you form that bond with people that you didn't even play with. And so having those former players here supporting the current players is something that's always been a foundation piece for this program. These last two years it's been rough just not having fans. And just today was just amazing. I mean, everybody was into it. I mean, are you not entertained? <laughs> You said it felt like Carolina basketball. When did you first feel that? What what happened to make you think, oh, yeah, this is this is what I want it to be? I mean, from the jump, just running out of the tunnel and just seeing the fans just so excited and enthusiastic, it gives us all a boost, and we love it. And the boost helped. You had double-double individually. Getting Hunter Dickinson in foul trouble was a, a big part of the game. How were you able to do that? Oh, uh, just watching a lot of film on him, knowing his tendencies. I mean, I've been playing with him on the same team since the seventh grade, so – I mean, we kind of both know how each other play, and I mean, I just know he's going to come out physical, so just matching his physicality, but also on the defense, and, I mean, on the offensive end, just trying to take it into him and get him in foul trouble. When he went out, how did that make them different? Uh, they had to double a lot. Well, they was doubling with him in, but just with him out, too, they had to send a double team to me, so that allowed a lot of the other guys to heat up, like Caleb and Dawson, and just giving them open looks. Been a lot of talk about defense over the past week or so. The defense was really good tonight. Why was it so much better? What did you do more effectively? Just went out there competing and we followed the game plan. I mean, we've been hearing all this talk about we can't play defense, but that was a pretty good defensive effort. What that you've worked on over this last week and some pretty tough and intense practices were you able to implement tonight that made such a difference? Just attention to detail, following, following like the precise defensive details, if that's being in a gap, midline, on the ball, just those things. And we applied that to the game and we got a good outcome. Does it feel like the season kind of started tonight? Yeah, I mean, we're going to ACC play versus Georgia Tech this early. I mean, and we got a couple big-time games coming up. So, I mean, it's just good just to get off on this good start and feel like we're going in the right direction. This year, let Ford help make your holidays even brighter. Get holiday ready with Ford. Now get a 2021 F-150 with 0% financing for 60 months plus 500 retail bonus cash. Get holiday ready only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed. Undeniably versatile. Unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's going to be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's going to get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card. Unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve. At ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Wow, this new Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! Okay, I'm gonna try it first. Yes! I need to try it first. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work, and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Carolina Insider is presented by 
Wells Fargo. It's been a terrific season for Carolina volleyball, qualifying for the NCAA tournament, and a big reason why. Freshman Mabry Shaftmaster, the ACC Freshman of the Year, also named second team all-conference, one of three Tar Heels to earn that honor. Adam Lucas and I had a chance to catch up with Mabry a little earlier in the week. Presented by Coke Zero Sugar, Coca-Cola with zero sugar, and now even more delicious. I saw that reaction video. What was, like, when you saw your name up there, what, what was the feeling in the room? Um, it was awesome. I, like, feel, we, like, knew we were going to be up there waiting to win. So it was, like, we were just kind of waiting and waiting and waiting. And then we were happy because we got, like, a good draw against Tennessee. So we were, like, so excited. Um, I was with Corinna, like, sitting in the background because I was, like, let Nia and all of them go up there. And, like, <laughs> they're, they're going to be really, really excited. But um, it was good. I was excited to see all the seniors and grad students, like, super excited about getting to go because no one's ever been. So we were all super hyped about it. When we had Nia on, we asked her the <laughs> same thing. So I want to ask you, is there any feeling better in sports mm. than there's somebody on the other side of the net who's kind of ticking you off a little bit <laughs> and you get to get up there and just absolutely unleash on the ball and right at her? Is there anything better than that? No, there's not. There's, there have been periods where both of us have been like so incredibly mad. It's like a bad call or it's like there's people on the other team making us mad and then we get to like have the fun job of just getting like hit the ball as hard as possible. <laughs> And it's always fun to talk to like our DSs. Like I talk to Karenna about it all the time and she's like, I wish I could just go up there and just like hit a ball, but I, I have to pass. And I'm like, yeah, it's so fun. It's just like a release, so. What is, wait, DS, is that deep setter? Defense. Close? <laughs> close, <laughs> defensive specialist. Uh, see, deep setter, defensive Not really specialist. Close. I'm Not right really there. <laughs> um, ACC freshman of the year. Like that's big time. How did this happen? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, it was like, that was kind of my, I set that goal in the beginning of the year when I got here, because um, I knew I was going to come in and be kind of like one of the top kind of recruits that they had. And I knew exactly who I was like going up against. There was people from Louisville, Georgia Tech and stuff like that. And I just kind of, like, I didn't think I was going to get it, but I did end up getting it because I kind of based it on how many times I got like freshman of the week and like other people have gotten it like four and I got it like twice. And I was like, oh, whatever, that girl will get it. But then it just like happened. And I was like, wow, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to happen. It, it really threw me off. He like totally surprised me. I had no idea. Awesome. How yeah. do you find out that you win ACC freshman? Are you just like scrolling Instagram like, oh, there's me? <laughs> I guess they called coach first and then we were at practice and he just kind of like told everyone at the same time. And it was like a big surprise. I got like tackled to the ground. Everyone was like crying. And it was like, it was like a really good moment. But it was a total surprise. Like I had no idea. And usually I can like know stuff like that. And I had no, absolutely no idea. This does seem like a team that is close and has fun with one another. Is that true? Yes, we have very good team chemistry. Um, coming in, I didn't know if that was like the case. Cause you know, you never know who your teammates with in college. You kind of just go on your visit and then you're like, oh, hey, whatever. And then you commit. But I came and like I knew Nia was coming, I knew Megan was coming, and I knew that they were gonna be like my two friends in my freshman class are here. But we have like such good team chemistry for how like different of ages we are because like the three freshmen are like best friends with all the grad students, and mm. then like they act like kind of like our big sisters in, in a way. And then it's just like the team chemistry is like really great in like every single aspect, and we all like love like hanging out with each other like off the court too. So now I read that you were down to Duke and Carolina. Is that true? Ooh. Yes, probably. <laughs> I, I'm always amazed when somebody's picking between those two because to me they're very, very different. One's good and one's bad. Yeah. So, so what was it that you felt like made Carolina the, the better fit for you? Um, well, I went on my visit to Duke first. I was talking to them for a while, and I just like never could get over the finish line of her getting to offer me. So I just was like, okay, um, let's just like explore my other options. And it kind of was just like on a whim that I was like, oh, UNC's like right there. Like, let's just go see. And I went on like a visit without any coaches or anything. And then I ended up reaching out to Joe and was like, hey, can you come watch me at my club tournament, whatever. And then he was like, we want you to come on, on a visit. So I came on like three different visits at like different periods of time. And I was like, this place is awesome. Because I think initially, I was like, you just go somewhere, you're like blinded by like one thing. And then I was like, I really like the volleyball at Duke, but I like the campus, the volleyball, the academics, the atmosphere at UNC, like it was just like everything. And so then that's like the major deciding thing was just like, it wasn't just volleyball. It was like everything in general was like perfect. So when did you realize, I mean, have you played volleyball your whole life or was this a moment where you're like, you know what, I kind of tried this and I was really good at it. Like how, how did you get to this point? Um, I played volleyball since I like can remember. Um, my three oldest sisters played volleyball too. So I kind of always just like ran around the gym. I was like, they always called me and my sister like gym rats. We just like run around <laughs> everywhere. 
And I ended up starting at Munciana when I was like seven. And then I just mm. went from there to like playing on the 18s like my whole life. And it was just like year round volleyball nonstop, like since I was like 10. Do you ever get tired of it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like have grown up with it, and like sometimes I get like physically tired, but I never get like tired of playing it. It's like, if you're like, if I'm ever stressed or like something like that, it's just I look forward to going to practice. It's just like kind of like an escape, doing something you love and like sure. doing something you. I want to go and see my team. I love seeing them, and it's just something that you go and it like makes your day better. Your name is awesome. So, <laughs> so do you? I mean, you probably you don't even need a nickname, right? Like you have your name name. Yeah, <laughs> both right? of my names are pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, do people give you grief for your name, or do people just love it? I love it. Um, I don't get grief. I just get a, a lot of different pronunciations of mm. both of them. Um, I really, kinda, even of Mabry? Oh, yeah. It's like, like what? It's what else like could it be? Mabry, 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 mm. and then they spell it wrong, and then people call me, like, Mayberry or something. <laughs> and it's, it's just, like, always different. But I, like, did that. They did the same thing to my sister the other day because I watched her play Marilyn the other day, and I texted her, and I was like, they called her, her name's Melanie, and it, they called her Milani. And wow. I was like, how do you even mispronounce Melanie? Right. But it's whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Mabry, Mabry. Mabry, whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, and best of luck. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed, undeniably versatile, unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's gonna be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card, unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. This year, let Ford help make your holidays even brighter. Get holiday ready with Ford. Now get a 2021 F-150 with 0% financing for 60 months plus 500 retail bonus cash. Get holiday ready only at your Carolina Ford dealer. I need to try it first. Yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Wow, this new Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! Okay, I'm gonna try it first. Yes! I need to try it first. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison & Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 all fours. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Thank you again for being with us this week. Always appreciate you joining us here on the Carolina Insider. Before we go, wanted to keep you up to date on some other Carolina action outside of just men's basketball. That includes women's basketball. What a start to the year for Courtney Banghart and her team. Now 7-0 on the season, including a big win on Wednesday night at Minnesota as part of the ACC Big Ten Challenge. We'll see some highlights from that coming up. Sissoko, change of speed, but she is stopped by Anya Poole. The patience by the big, and Usby will push, and she will finish. She's got a quick trigger and knows how to use it. Usby attacking hard. Three-point play opportunity for the sophomore from Rochester, Minnesota. 
14 paint points for them. Defense along the perimeter. It is Littlefield who will get a three to go. And miss their last five attempts. Hodgson going against Helgren. A good look for Usby, and she will knock it down. She She's been taking a lot of the minutes that we normally saw last season from Clark Sconiers, the junior, as that three netted by Eva Hodgson. Carolina leading by four as Kelly will pull up in the lane. Six-nothing run for Carolina's Usby. Falling back and drains it. A beautiful move. That little dribble penetration set her up perfectly. And boy, did the Gophers need a long-range bucket to fall. But Kelly, the crowd getting into it here at Williams Arena, even with the Rochester fans from southern Minnesota. One-on-one -on -one with Todd Williams. She'll pull up. Beautiful arc. Rebound to Poole. At the buzzer. And that's going to go in for Deja Kelly. My gosh! A half-court shot to close out the third if it counts. Hubbard looking for another three. That's off target. And Usby sneaks out ahead for an easy transition, too. Kelly stopped. Todd Williams will line up a three, and she drains it. Kelly with it, being guarded by Scalia. Here is Usby handing it off to Todd Williams, who will attack, and she will come uh, get a chance for a three-point play. 82 to 76 is the North Carolina victory on the road. They improved to 7 and 0. We'll be back with you next week here on the Carolina Insider. A lot of action for men's basketball, even with the exam time period. Tariel's on the road today, Sunday. Tough road game in Atlanta against Georgia Tech. Plus, the Heels back in action at home next Saturday night against Elon. We'll have Highlights from those two games and a lot more next week on the Carolina Insider. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. And brought to you by Coke Zero Sugar, Coca-Cola with zero sugar and now even more delicious. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heel Sports Properties, a property of Learfield.